for student nurse once again student nurse marinelle and for today's video i will be sharing to you how to do dump dusting but before we start with the procedure let us first try to understand and define what is this procedure all about when we say dump dusting this is the process of keeping our patient's room safe and free from infection it is most commonly done for us to have the asepsis or the total absence of pathogenic microorganism in our patient's room. Now, we will be talking about the purpose of doing dump dusting. First is that it keeps the area of our patient clean and orderly. Second, it reduces the number of microorganisms in our patient's environment. And lastly, it reduces the transmission of microorganisms to oneself and to another healthcare workers or healthcare providers. The possible nursing diagnosis of damp dusting is the risk for injury and lastly, the risk of infection. As of planning, we have to determine the equipments that we need and we'll be preparing the equipments as well. The other thing that we will be doing for planning is that we will be doing hand washing for infection control. Assess the environment for the need of specialized materials such as hard-to-reach places and check the presence of objects within the environment that should not be dumped such as electrical appliances. Also assess for the presence of hazardous objects that should be removed prior to dump dusting. After assessment, introduce yourself to the client or to your patient. Hello sir, my name is Marinel and I will be your student nurse for today. Okay, thank you so much sir. Um, sir, I will be doing dump dusting here in your room. Would that be okay? Thank you so much, sir. The purpose of our dump dusting, sir, is that it will be making your room clean and free from any pathogen and microorganism, and it will be preventing you from having infections, okay? I will now start, sir, by getting or preparing the equipments that are needed. After introducing oneself to client, gather all the equipments needed. We will be needing a basin with water, two dump cloths, sterile gloves, and alcohol for hand hygiene and infection control. Do your hand hygiene. After hand hygiene, wear your disposable gloves. Make sure that you are not touching the outer part because it is considered as sterile. Ask for patient's permission that you will be rearranging her things. Submerge your first dump cloth to the water and make sure that you will be making a dump myth out of it. Clean away from yourself, especially when dusting or scrubbing the articles. Clean the least soiled area first and then move to the soiled one. You also need to wipe from up to down or start from the upper part going down. You also need to wipe the surface using long stroke motions. After using your dump cloth, remove your disposable gloves and get your dry cloth for you to pat off the water from the area that you cleaned a while ago. Use long firm strokes for you to dry out the area. Clean and put client's unit in order. Do aftercare of equipment and perform hand hygiene. And that's how you do dump dusting. Thank you so much for watching this video.